Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a day in my life. So today I have a kind of normal work day for myself where I'm going to be filming, I'm going to be editing, um, getting a little bit of like housework done as well, like dishes, things, you know what I mean? The geese are always rudely interrupting me. I love our back area. This is one of the reasons we bought this house and I just love it. And I rarely, rarely get time to be like out here in the morning drinking a bit of coffee but Tyler got up with Gigi this morning and um, she's already down for her first nap she's been sick so she's just been sleeping a little bit more so I got like an extra 30 minutes of sleep which was amazing and I desperately needed it and then while she's still sleeping I've got like a little like five ten minutes to just like breathe in some nice spring air but as I was saying so I'll be filming and editing today I'm it's my turn to cook dinner tonight and we'll be doing it with HelloFresh and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh yeah I'm just gonna take you guys along so I'm here at my little workstation if I could get my computer to come on and I think my flow today usually I will either get all my editing done and then film or film and edit today I'm kind of sandwiching it because I wanted to edit two videos because we're leaving in a few days for a trip and so when I can split up editing sessions, especially when I'm trying to get two videos edited, it's usually better for my brain and my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna edit right now before I even get ready, then I'm gonna film as if I'm not filming now, but y'all know what I mean, like the proper sitting and filming. So that's the plan. I'm, I actually need to figure out exactly what I'm filming today. I usually have a general idea for the week, but I don't always know exactly which I'm doing each day. So I do need to figure that out on my little planning sheet. But yeah, yesterday, at least the day I'm filming this, yesterday I put up my declutter video of all my PR. It's like 40 minutes long. I thought this video would be fast, LOL. No, it was not. No, it was not. <laughs> So quick little side note, uh, this Florida Candle Company, they sent me some of their candles and this, they smell like Disney resorts and things in Disney. I know I need to trim the wick. My dad would yell at me. He's like, oh, you know why you're getting that black? Have you heard of trimming the wick? I'm like, I know dad. It's my favorite smell. It smells like the contemporary resort in Disney World if you're a geek like me. So I'm about nine minutes into editing this chit chat, get ready with me. I don't do this kind of video very often, but it was fun. I don't know why I don't. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, but yeah, so that'll probably be live by the time you're seeing this for sure. So I figured I would show you kind of what I do to get ready to film for the day. I'm um, just pulling the makeup that I need and kind of making sure lighting wise we're good. A lot of times I just use natural light with just these side lights. I got to pull one up. You'll see. Um, but if it's a super rainy or cloudy day, I'll turn on my ring light to the lowest setting because I just love the way natural light looks. And I know a lot of you guys do too. So today I'm filming about trying some new products from the brand CYO. I placed an order from Walgreens just a little while ago, actually a couple weeks ago. So I've been sitting on these products for a while. So grabbing those to bring over the two more products. Oh, there they are. Don't it's lunchtime, Tyler's making, uh, no. <laughs> I don't like raisins in my, I don't not like them, but it, by choice, no. <laughs> Look at my salad versus his. Could have given me a little, oh, but he always, you always chop mine up and I like that. Yeah. I don't like the giant lettuce slapping me in the face when it's too big. <laughs> and look who else is here. Hello, hello. my mother-in-law. It has, yeah, and usually you're seen more on Tyler's channel than anywhere. Yeah. But she's helping us out every week. She watches Gigi two days a week, thank goodness, so we can work. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. But you're a little under the weather. Gigi's under the weather. <laughs> poor, poor sickies. Oh, and no, 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 <laughs> who is very busy. Oh, boy. Oh, 
She'll pick up Hi, something Gigi. with her mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like the little doggy. <laughs> she, she walks around with it in her mouth. Hi, Gigi. <laughs> you had a good nap. You're playing with Nana. <laughs> Whoa! Is she just showing off? Are you standing up? <gasps> oh. Whoa. <laughs> Gigi, this is gonna blow your mind. Look. Gigi. Who's that? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs>I'd show you guys what's in this little caboodle since you guys voted for that and uh, yeah I got this for like $9.99 at Target not very long ago and it's still online I was just linking it actually for another video uh, that's coming up in the future so this is definitely still available at Target it's their petite one they have one even smaller and then they have like the normal size basically everything I would need to get ready so I can just kind of close it up and put it under my cabinet when I'm not using it and then just pull it out and have everything that I need. It has these two little areas here and in here I've got my single shadow and brulee. I love this stuff. It's just like a normal kind of almond colored shade, but I use it to blend shadows together. I use it on my brow bone. I've even set my under eye with it because it totally works. It's amazing. This is the old packaging, but both the old and the new are really good. Um, let me put on this lip balm. So this is a NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. It's clean cut is the shade. I've only used it like once or twice. I just kind of revamped what was in here. I change it obviously all of the time. I'll swap out lip products, swap out eyeshadows, whatever. But uh, it's just kind of a comfortable lip balm. NARS products are expensive. I feel like if you're gonna spend the money, you don't necessarily need to get a lip balm from them. I would get like their velvet lip glides are beautiful, but I do like this. Um, I threw in the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I, I like this. It's not a favorite concealer of mine, but I do think it's nice. I just wish they had one a little bit lighter. I have number 10, Fair. This is only in here because I wanna give it more of a try. It's the Honest Beauty Everything Primer Glow. And it's like kind of, it has this weird scent, but it's supposed to be kind of a glowy primer. And yeah, the smell smells like burning plastic. <laughs> then I also have this Catrice Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base. I think this is discontinued, which is a shame because I really like it. But I figure again, I can use it up in here. And then this is limited edition. I think it's still available from MAC. It's the um, Eyeshadow Times 9 Kabuki Doll. And it's these shadows are obviously much smaller than normal MAC shadows, but it is, <laughs> it's so beautiful. These shadows are so incredible. The mattes, the shimmers, they're just like, out of this world. Oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty. I'm trying to like make sure I remember how I fit everything in there. It's like a Jenga puzzle. Down here I've got like brushes and some other face products. So um, I got this It Cosmetics. This was like a holiday collection. It's their Brilliant Powder I use for, honestly, I'm using it for bronzer and blush, kind of all in one. Um, in here I have this NARS Limited Edition Orgasm Infatuation Palette. Uh, again, I put a lot of limited edition in here because you guys don't see me use it a lot and so I don't feel as guilty. Like if you're like, oh, I really wanna get it and then it's like a million dollars on eBay only because it's no longer being sold, you know what I mean? But I love this. All three of these powders are so, so nice. I've traveled with this before because I trust it. Never swatches as pretty, but the highlight really swatches well. But as I always say, swatches don't really matter with like blush and bronzer every time because it applies differently with a brush. So this is the YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow. Um, this is in their, if I remember correctly, their lightest shade, and it's still pretty dark for me, but I apply it with my fingers, which is one reason I wanted it in here. I wanted something I can really easily apply. It's not high coverage at all. It's a little bit glowy. Okay, a lot of it glowy. I need to like wipe this off. But it's one of those I feel like gets lost in my collection otherwise but on its own, I do like it. When I first used it, and I might've even mentioned this in a video months ago, when I first got it, I wasn't a big fan and I didn't understand the hype behind it because it was kind of streaky, but once I really started using my hands to melt it in and giving it time to kind of settle into my skin, that's when I started to see like, oh, it actually really is pretty, but it's a light to medium coverage, max. I also have this, <laughs> it's pretty well-worn, well love the Cosmetic Celebration Foundation powder. These are, it's their line of powder foundations I really like. I dip my sponge into it a lot, which is why it gets hard pan. I need to scrape it off. 
but I've had this one for quite a while. It's the shade light, slightly dark for me, but it works. Um, but I like these because they also offer coverage. So if I'm like getting ready quickly, but I still want a little more coverage, especially on my nose, since this is not high coverage, I love having the powder foundation in there to help that. So I'm using up my Lancome Monsieur Big. There's like maybe a couple more weeks of use out of this. I liked this. It's not my favorite mascara of all time, but I liked it. Like if I got a sample, I would keep it and use it. You know what I mean? Would I go seek out and buy it over and over again? No, but I do like it. It adds volume. I just think there's better out there. I have my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. I keep in here one of my absolute favorite brow pencils ever. And I have my NYX, I was just talking about this in a dupes video, the Always Keeping It Tight liner. It's not my favorite. It's not as good as the one I was trying to find a dupe for, the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter, but it is okay and it, I can make it work and I wanted to use it up so I figured it's perfect to keep in here. And then I also have my NYX Epic Ink Liquid Liner. This is one that I used to love for a long time, but they, I swear to you, they changed the formula. It Now it bleeds everywhere, and a lot of you guys are noticing the same thing, so I'm like, well, I'm not rebuying it anymore, you know? But again, I wanted to use it up. I've got some tweezers. These are just Huda Beauty tweezers. They're not that great, to be honest with you. They were sent with something. Um, and then I've got some brushes. So I don't even really need this in here. It's my Artiste Crazy Expensive Brush. Again, I hadn't used it in a while because I think it's beautiful, but I, I prefer using my fingers or a sponge now. But I figure, well, if I need it, it's kind of nice to have. Um, I've got a highlighting brush from Anastasia, the A23. I've got this Luxie 522 highlighter brush that, what was I using this for? Why do I have both? Maybe I can use this for blush and then the other one for bronzer and then I don't have to use it for both. Um, and then I've just got some fluffy brushes here. This is the Alamar Cosmetics one. It was in a set, it doesn't say what it's called. But then there's also this Delium Tools Golden Triangle one, number 783, the It Cosmetics Luminous Concealer I use for um, my brow one actually. And this MAC, I think 260, I think it's the MAC 266 or 268, a uh, little angled brush I use for my brows, but I think I have it in here to be able to line with eyeshadow if I want. So that's everything that's in here for right now. Obviously this is not where I'm reaching if I need like a crazy high coverage look, but I can get pretty much anything I need to get done quickly with these products, which is why I really enjoy having this in here. And it's nice to just have everything kind of corralled together. So it is now about three-ish in the afternoon. I'm gonna do a little bit more work in my office. I'm just getting some things cleaned up. I got two videos edited, one of them uploaded, and I filmed another. So pretty productive day. But beyond that, I need to go get my nails done <laughs> desperately before we leave on vacation here soon. Um, and they really need to be filled in. Well, but with powder dip, you can't fill it. You have to remove and redo. Sorry, my bed's not made. And Tyler needs to put his laundry away. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> look how cool my nails are for Alaska. <sighs> They're so cool. The My nail tech that I see every time, I was telling him I was going to Alaska and I was just gonna do like white glitter. And he was like, no, 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 we're doing something cooler. And I was like, okay. We just had to come in because Pinocchio, we have geese in the water behind us all the time. Well, every once in a while he gets too close to the geese and the geese just hiss at him and I'm like, mm, geese are crazy, you can't trust them. So, oh, you're sleepy. So I was like, Pinocchio, get inside. We're not dying by the neck of a goose tonight. So I'm opening up some packages here and I figured I'd share some of this with you guys. So someone named Stephanie that works for this publishing company actually sent me this book, which is exciting because it's the next one. I love Rachel Hollis's first book. And then Angela sent us these, which was so incredibly thoughtful. We love things like this. And obviously you may know that we love Disney. So Emily, the actual creator of this, sent these um, workbook kind of journals for gaining confidence. And I've talked about in videos before how I have, I've had, and still do to a certain extent, kind of social anxiety and things like this, uh, things like that. 
uh, which I thought was really cool, but she also offered a discount code. So if you're interested in trying this out, uh, Jessica B10. Oh my gosh, how cute. Liz sent this really sweet <laughs> little calendar thing with Mickey and Minnie. So Ashley sent this really cute mug warmer with a cute mug. <laughs> That is also gonna go on my desk, that is adorable. So there's an Etsy shop called Pink Studio Papery. Sent this personalized little water bottle and then these really cute cards. They're thank you cards. That's really cute, that reminds me of the Epcot ball. And there's a discount code for Pink Studio Papery as well, Jessica10. So I hope I'm saying your name right, Zainab sent this really cute card and these really sweet, look at this. I love you, this sweet little bookmark, or at least that's how I'm gonna use it. And then this, <laughs> love that. So Emily sent this Bulldog Sensitive Moisturizer and she was saying she's got really dry eczema prone skin and that she loves this on her face. It's great for under makeup and she said it's like super dewy. I'm like, oh, ho, ho. and then Jillian sent, ooh, some cookbooks, Eating in Color, ooh. We love cooking and we love cookbooks. And then Rocco's five minute flavor, yes please. Anything to save me some time, thank you very much. So Michelle sent us this whole box of goodies with the sweetest, sweetest note. I loved reading it, Michelle. And sent stuff for all of us. So there's some stuff for Pinocchio. It, it kind of ripped open, but we will use these little doo-doo bags and a little thing to clip on. And she said she makes these homemade. They're like chicken breasts and olive oil. and. I have to admit, I've already given one to Pinocchio. Okay, fine, two, and he <laughs> loved them. Some recipe books, oh my gosh. I, I'm excited about this. One dish dinners, again, kind of like the other ones, anything that can save us time. So as I say a lot, please don't feel obligated to send us stuff. It is so incredibly sweet, but we don't need anything, and I much prefer reading your guys' sweet letters. We got a few postcards. We love reading those. We like to read them together at night, and, um, yeah, so please, when you watch this, don't feel like you need to send us it. We really cannot emphasize we don't need anything. We appreciate all of this. We really don't need anything. But thank you all that sent stuff. It was very, very kind and very, very generous. Okay, so Tyler's putting Gigi to bed. He had to fix the faucet on the tub because I broke it for the second time. I, I don't know why, like I turn it the wrong way and I force it. I don't know why, why do I force it? He just fixed that so he gave her a bath and he's putting her down to sleep. It's his turn to do it. We just kind of trade off each night. So tonight for dinner, I'm in charge and I'm gonna make a HelloFresh meal. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh as I mentioned earlier in the video and I'm so excited to be working with them again. I've worked with them a ton in the past and this is genuinely a service that Tyler and I love to use. So what HelloFresh is, if you've never heard of it, is a meal delivery service where you cook the meal yourself but they send you all the ingredients and recipes that you need to do so. The reason we love it and the reason we keep using it is because it's easy. We don't have to worry about meal planning. We don't have to worry about grocery shopping. The recipe cards they give you are incredibly easy to use. For example, tonight we're making the Tuscan sausage and pepper spaghetti and they lay it out step by step in exactly the order you need to prepare things in. The way that they set up the recipes is so that everything is finished at the exact same time. It is incredible. But on top of that, most of the recipes that HelloFresh sends are ready in under 30 minutes which is huge if you're a busy person. Whether or not you have kids, it doesn't matter. A lot of us are busy and the more time we can save, the better. And of course, on top of that, you're eating fresh meals. But I also love that you are given the ingredients that you need and exactly how much you need. So you're not wasting a ton of food. So they have a few different plans. You can choose between the classic, the veggie or the family plan. We choose the classic every time. So HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. So what that means is you're gonna get eight free meals, which is two free meals in your first four boxes by going to hellofresh.com and entering the code JessicaBron80 for a total of $80 off. So this meal, it's got some peppers and veggies in it. It's got some delicious sausage some pasta, and looking at the finished product, it looks like something I would order at a restaurant, so that's always exciting. These are very Instagram-worthy meals. I can't wait to try this. I can't stress to you guys enough how hungry I am, but this really was quick. I think in the end, this took about 31 minutes, so that's not bad. Could you smell it upstairs? Oh, yeah. Upstairs, so you can smell the sausage and like the herbs. so good. <laughs> Spaghetti, though, this is gonna be like the most awkward first time. Yeah. <laughs> like you know. I don't think you're gonna like it. <laughs> There's more, actually. There's a lot left over. We'll see. Or yeah, we'll I might just have a second bowl. <laughs> it's so good. After dinner, just relaxing. It's kind of Time chilly. Time for cigars and uh, some brandy. <laughs> I'm about to do some dishes, and he's got a little bit of work to wrap up. We're trying to 
we try not to work at all like after um, you know by dinner time obviously but yeah. sometimes when we're trying to prep for a trip it's just yeah. different or when we get back from a trip we have to catch up from mm -hmm. everything p.m. and I just got the dishes done as you saw and I ended up taking my Dyson like um, uh, what's it called it's like the cyclone animal v10 thing that you just plug in but then you can unplug it and it's charged and I ended up like literally vacuuming really quickly that room over there because Pinocchio tracks stuff in from time to time and Gigi crawls around in there so anyway, vacuumed in there and then I, you can actually use it on hardwood or on hard floor so I did the kitchen really quickly too, just kind of spot cleaned with it and it's so nice it got up most of the crumbs and then I wiped down countertops that's how I feel good at night I don't always do the dishes at night but when I do I feel so much better. I've been sitting here almost out of tea, but I've just been commenting back to you guys. I read all of the comments you guys leave, or at least I try to on my videos. I love it. It's one of my, literally one of my favorite things about doing YouTube. It's the only way I get to interact with you guys, you know? Uh, so I need to go upstairs and wash my face and go to bed. It's now after 10 and I'm tired. I'm By the way, I'm about to wash my face and these washcloths I bought them on Amazon there's some random brand and it was a pack of six these are the softest they're microfiber but they're even softer than like the other ones I own to wash your face with like I literally pat my face dry with this and it feels like I'm patting my face with clouds it is amazing I will put the link below for these but I need to like buy a bunch more. It's used up like literally just now, this Alginist Genius Sleeping Collagen. I treated it as a moisturizer. And so let me just show you my face and how moisturized it is. Bam! <laughs> it's a, it's definitely moisturizer feeling, but it's a little bit more creamy and like oily. It's interesting. So that's gonna end the day. I'm gonna sit in bed and read. I'm reading the book Wild right now, the one that there's the movie with Reese Witherspoon. I haven't seen the movie though. So I'm gonna read, Tyler's gonna be reading. We're just gonna be relaxing and going to bed. Thank you guys so much for following along with us. I have so much fun doing these. I do them like once or twice a month, these day in the life videos. Um, and I enjoy doing them and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well And if you do enjoy them, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can catch my future beauty and lifestyle videos And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye